Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to migrate servers to Azure using Azure Migrate. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, for the sake of this video, I'll show you that how you can migrate your SQL Server and the databases in it to your Azure with the help of Azure Services. And by services, I mean Azure Migrate and Azure SQL because both of these services will be needed in order to migrate our databases and servers of SQL to our Azure. So first of all, this is my dashboard of my Azure and first service that I'm going to use is Azure SQL. If you do not see it in here, just search for it as it is Azure SQL in here. I'll just click on it and here we have Azure SQL available. I'll just click on it and I'll open this service. At the moment, I do not have any resource available in terms of SQL. So I'll just create new one. From here, we have different options as SQL databases, SQL managed instances and SQL virtual machines. So as we are talking about the SQL server, and in SQL Server, we have different databases. So I'll go with SQL databases. Just click on this create button and it will open a new page for you. From here, this is my subscription. This is my resource group. I have many of them. I'll select one of them from here. Then I have my database details. First of all, I have to write my database name. You can name it anything. I'll go for Zubair123. Then here we have a server. At the moment, I do not have any server available. In case if you do not have one, you can create one. I'll just click on this create new button and it will open a new page for me like this. Here you have to give a name to your server. I'll go with the same name so that it is easy for me to remember everything. After that, this is the location. I'm okay with that one. And down here, we have different options in terms of authentication method. Make sure to go for use SQL authentication because this will be needed when you will try to migrate your server to your Azure. Here it is asking about the server admin login. You can write any name in here. Again, I'll go for Zubair123. Basically, it's a login name that you will enter into your SQL server. Then you have to write your password in here. You can go for anything. I'll go with a password that matches everything that is required from the Microsoft Azure. After that, you just need to confirm your password. And after that, you are good to go. Just click on OK and we have successfully created our server on our Microsoft Azure. After that, just scroll down and leave everything as it is. Just click on Next and it will go to this page. And from here, in terms of the connectivity method, make sure that you allow public endpoint because SQL Server will try to access Microsoft Azure and for Microsoft Azure, SQL will be a public endpoint. That is why you should allow your public endpoint to access your Microsoft Azure. That is why I have gone here with public endpoint. And down here, leave everything as it is. Scroll down, click on next and security. Again, leave everything as it is, go for next. Again, leave everything as it is, go for next. These are different tags that you can allow. I'll again go for the same name that I have used till now. After that, just click on next. And here we have the summary of everything that we have done till now. Just click on this create button and this will create an instance of this resource for you in Microsoft Azure. It will take a little bit of time, so be patient and then we'll move ahead. As you can see, it is validating and it has initialized the deployment. Our deployment is done and now let's go to its resources. From here, we have to look for a key that will be needed and you can find that key in connection strings. Just click on it and this is the key. Okay, from here you have to copy everything. After that, you can open that in a notepad file or a text file. So I'll just search for notepad in my system, here it is. I'll just paste that in here. And from here, we need a particular part of this key. And that starts from TCP and it ends at .NET. So just copy this one because we need this particular part. Before we move ahead, there is one more thing that we should discuss. And that is, let me open my SQL. Here it is. In case if you do not have any database available in your SQL server, do not worry. We can download one and we can include that one in here. How can we do that? I'll download one from the Microsoft itself. I'll look for AdventureWorks 2017 or you can download any version. 
Here we have AdventureWorks sample databases. So just click on this particular link and it will show you a lot of them. I'll just scroll down. And here, if you see in terms of OLTP, we have many of these available. You can download anyone as per your liking and it will be dot back file. I'll go for the AdventureWorks 2017. I'll just click on this one and a file will be downloaded into my system as you can see in here. I'll just pause this one because I have already downloaded it. In this one, we need to include that particular database that we have downloaded. So just open your server and in that we have a section that is called as databases. Just right click on it and click on restore database. From here, click on device and from here, click on this three dot menu button and click on add button. And now go to the directory where you have your dot back file downloaded. This is my file here. I'll just copy this particular address and I'll paste that in here. After that, I'll click on OK and here I have my file. I'll just double click on it. I'll just click on OK. And after that, make sure to check this option that says restore. Just click on OK and this file will be added into our system as a database. As it says database AdventureWorks 2017 restored successfully. So I'll just click on OK and let's open this one and let's see if we have any data in here. Let's open its different tables and yes, we do have all the data available with our AdventureWorks 2017. Now this is the one that I want to migrate onto my Microsoft Azure. So just right click on it, go to its task and here you will see an option that says deploy a database to Microsoft Azure SQL database. Just click on it. From here, click on next. Click on this connect button once again. And this is where we have to enter the key. If you remember, this was the part that we need. So you can copy this one. Let's go back. Let's paste it in here. And in terms of authentication, we'll go for SQL Server authentication. In terms of the password, enter the password that you had for your server when you created one in your Microsoft Azure. After that, just click on connect and we have successfully made a connection. Just click on this next button. This is the summary. Just click on this finish button. And now it is exporting our database from this machine to our Microsoft Azure. This will take a little bit of time, so be patient. We are done here as our operation is completed. And now I'll just close this one. Okay, now it's time to connect to our Azure service. How can we do that? Well, just click on this connect button and click on database engine. From here, give the name or basically it's a key that we have copied if you remember. And after that, make sure to go with SQL server authentication. Have your username and after that you need to enter your password. After that, just click on this connect button and your connection will be established. Now you can see we have a service available in here that we created onto our Microsoft Azure. And in the databases, you will see we have AdventureWorks 2017 available. And this was the one that we migrated from our local machine to our Azure. So if you just expand it further, you will see that we have all those tables, views, database diagrams available that we had onto our local machine. So we are done here with this step and we have successfully migrated it. And now let's just close this one. I'll just close this one and let's move ahead. And now it's time to involve our Azure Migrate. So I'll just look for Azure Migrate in my system. Here it is. I'll just open that one. And as we are going to import our database from our SQL Server, that is why I'll click on Databases only. From here, we'll have two options, Azure Migrate Database Assessment and Migration Tool. It means, first of all, we'll assess our database and then we'll migrate it. So we have already added a tool for the assessment. Now we have to add a tool for the migration. So I'll just click on this click here button and we have one available here from the Azure itself. I'll just click on it and click on add tool and this will be added into my resource as well. Now what we need to do, we need to download DMA or data migration assessment tool. So just click on this here button and it will open a new page for us like this from the Microsoft. So from here, we just need to click on this download button and here it has started the download process. We are done here with the download. So I'll just open this one and let's install it into our system. Just accept the license agreement from here. Click on next, click on install and it's a very lightweight tool. So it will not take a lot of time for the installation to get completed. We are done here with the installation. So I'll just check this checkbox that says launch Microsoft Data Migration Assistant. Just click on finish and we are done. This is how it looks like. And from here, click on this plus icon to create a new resource or create a new project. So as we are going for the assessment, so I'll go with the first option. Then here you have to name your project. I'll name it as Zubair123 Assessment. And if you remember, Zubair123 was the name of our server that we created. After that, we have the assessment type. We'll go for the database engine. 
Then for the source server type, we'll stick with SQL server. And here we have target server type. We are going for Azure SQL database. And after that, leave everything as it is and click on create button. Here it will check the database compatibility and it will check the feature parity as well. Just click on next and do not worry about anything. Okay, here you have to write the server name. In case if you do not know what is your server name, just open your SQL server. And here if you see, this is the server name. We are talking about the local one and it is 123BAJWA. So we'll use this one onto our assessment tool. So this is my assessment tool. I'll just write here the name. After that, in terms of authentication, we'll stick with the Windows authentication and I'll go for trust server certificate as well. And here we have server permissions for SQL. Just click on connect and let's wait for it. And here it is giving us the list of all the databases that are available in our SQL server. Well, in my case, I only have one. So in your case, if you have more than one databases, all of those will appear in here. So as I have only one, so I'll just select this one and I'll click on add. This will get added into my assessment tool. So from here, we just need to start the assessment. So I'll just click on this option. And as you can see, the assessment is in progress. And here we have all the result that we got after the assessment. In terms of unsupported feature, this is the detail. And here we have parity supported feature. At the moment, we have none. Down here, we have compatibility issues. If you just click on it, we do not have any compatibility issue with our database. So I'll just go for the first option that says SQL Server Feature Parity and we'll upload it into our Azure Migrate. So I'll just click on this one, click on connect and it will ask you to sign in into your account. I'll just sign in into this one and at the moment it is loading my subscriptions. And in terms of Azure Migrate project, I'll go for the demo one. I have many of them available, but I'll select the first one. After that, I'll just click on this upload button and our database and it will start the process of uploading our assessment into our Azure Migrate project. So let's wait for it and then we'll move ahead. Here it says assessment uploaded. So let's click on this OK button. And now we need to do the same for the compatibility issues. So just select this one, click on upload to Azure Migrate, click on connect. Again, it will ask us to sign in into our Microsoft Azure. So I'll just click on it. From here, I'll select my subscription, my project name, and I'll just click on upload. We are done here with this one as well. So I'll just click on OK. And now let's go to our Microsoft Azure. Here we are onto our Azure Migrate. And if I go to my databases, here I do have one available. Earlier, there was nothing. So let's just click on it and let's see what do we have in here. And this is my server, if you remember. So I'll just open this one. And in that, we'll have a database with the name of AdventureWorks 2017. This is the size and here we have every detail of it. It means we are done with the assessment. And now let's move ahead and let's migrate our server onto our Azure Migrate. This is our assessment tool and this time let's click on new. And now we are going for migration. You can name your project anything. I'll go for Zubair123 and at the end of it, I'll write here migration. After that, leave everything as it is and just click on create button. And from here, we have to give the server name. So first of all, we'll give the local server name. It is 123BAJWA and basically it's my local machine. And in terms of authentication, we'll stick with Windows authentication and now just click on connect button. After that, just click on next. And here we have to go for the target. Obviously, our target is the one in Microsoft Azure. So I'll just paste the key in here. This was the one and if you remember, we copied this one from Microsoft Azure. After that, this time we'll go for SQL Server Authentication in terms of authentication type. Here we have username and here we have to enter the password. So I'll just do that. And after that, scroll down and click on connect and you are good to go. And here we have the target. In terms of target, we have to write the name of the target server, what it is. Let's go back to our SQL Server and let's find out. Here it is and this is our target if you remember. We copied this one from the key. So I'll open my key once again. Here it is and we need this particular pad. So I'll just copy this one and I'll paste it into this one. After that, in terms of authentication, we'll go for SQL Server Authentication. Here I'll write the name of my server and that was Zubair123. And after that, I need to enter my password. After that, I just need to scroll down and here we have connect button. Let's click on it. And we have made a connection successfully. And from here, we'll select the server. This is the one. So I'll just select this one and click on next. It will take around one minute. So here we have every detail of schema and you can see we have everything in here. We have every table, every field, and we have every data entity. After that, just click on generate SQL script 
and now it will generate SQL script for your database. Let it get complete, then we'll deploy this schema. Here it is. I'll just click on deploy schema. And here we have all the progress of our schema that is being deployed. Again, it will take a little bit of time. And these are the number of commands that are executed. So let's wait for it. We are done with the execution of all the commands. Now we'll just click on migrate data. And from here, we have to select the tables that we want to deploy. I have selected everything from here. In case if you want to miss out anyone, you can do so. After that, I'll click on start data migration. And here you will see the progress of each table. So just scroll down and you will have every table available in here. So let's wait for it to get completed and then obviously we'll move ahead. So we are done with our tables and we are done with the migration of our server and its databases. And that brings me to the end of this particular video. I hope now that you must have liked and loved watching this one. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.